Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Josh here and I am coming at you with a deck I'm very proud of. Uh, it's my main deck. It is the new uh, Odd Eyes Magician deck that came out recently uh, with the structure decks. Um, this deck is really fun. I've been waiting for these cards for a long time. Um, as I've mentioned before, I am, I've been a Cosmo player. Um, I have yet to obtain any Dark Destroyers because they're so expensive, and I haven't found anybody that wants to trade them. But um, before the newer cards of Cosmo came out, I, that was my main deck. I have Farm Girls and everything else. Um, but this deck came out, uh, you could basically build it with the th buying three structure decks, and that's what I did. Um, uh, but I've added, you know, better cards and stuff to it. Um, but this is now my main deck until I can obtain some Dark Destroyers. Uh, it's really, really, really fun. I actually like playing it more than Cosmo. Uh, you can OTK insanely quick, and, um... It's just cool. Uh, the pendulum effects and the odd eyes effects, the way they all work together, it's crazy. So let's jump into this. Um, everyone's been posting their version lately. Um, and this is mine. So, of course, we have three Dragon Pit Magician. Basically, the MST of the deck. I don't main MSTs because of this guy, and it's nice he allows you to have that extra room. Um, three Oaf Dragon Magicians. Very good card. Uh, Oaf Dragon count with um, Dragon Pit Magician in your Pendulum Zones. It's nice you have that too, and uh, eight scales are very important. As you probably know by now, eight scales are very important for this deck. So, those two. Three Wisdom Eye. The pluses you get with this in Ophi is crazy. Uh, Wisdom Eye is such a good card. Should be in sight, but, you know, name change. It's all it's all good, I guess. Then I play two Zhang Ki. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Zhang Ki Magician. Some people play one. I've seen a few builds that don't play this at all, but this is nice because it's a 2500 beater. It's a level 7, which is important. And if you need it to be in your pendulum zone, it's a 3. So if you have like an 8 or something to go with it, then that's not bad. Um, one Noble Dragon Magician. Uh good i mean it's a tuner i don't synchro synchro that often in this deck but one is always good but i wouldn't do two or three three would actually be awful <laughs> um then we have the main card odd eyes pendulum dragon and i got the tin rarities over the commons um but yeah this card's insane level seven uh, this with Noble Dragon Magician is a really good combo. Um, and then, you know, the stuff you can do with the extra deck with this card is insane too. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But then we have three Perform Pal Skullcrobat Joker. This searches out any card in your deck and... It's a level 8. Um, if you need it in your scale, it's not the best in the scale, or in the pendulum zone, I mean, but um, it's good if you run out of your dragon pits, but that normally doesn't happen. But this guy searches out anything. He's a level 4 spellcaster, which is good, and 1800 attack isn't bad. Then I play two Magispector Unicorn uh, Curin. Curin. Uh, just a really, really good card. Level 6, um, 2,000 attack, and he can bounce cards, so bounce monsters, which is good. Uh, it bounces your own back to your hand, but that's not that bad, especially because you can pendulum summon like four or five monsters the next turn if you really want to. So two of him, 
Uh, I play two Chaos Hunter. I don't have Apex Avion. It's like a $20 card right now, so I don't know if I will be getting it. Um, if I had Avion, I would play it over Chaos Hunter. But this is still a good card. 2,500 attack. Um, uh, level 7. Sorry, lost my train of thought there. And um, it's good against Cosmo. So Then I play... Two effect Valor and finishing off with two Maxi. Just good cards to have in any deck, really. Um, moving on to the spells, we have, of course, three Pendulum Call. Probably like the best card in the deck. It gets whatever Pendulum monsters you need, uh, protects your monsters. It's just such a good card. This is. I'm pretty sure it'll get put down to two or one in the future, but until then, we're going to enjoy three. And then three Wavering Eyes. I had two, but uh, last night I played against a lot of the same deck and um, at my locals, and I needed that. Th I was siding in that third like crazy. So three Wavering Eyes, such a good card. Just wrecks uh, in the mirror match and against, you know, if you're not playing this deck, but you have Wavering Eyes, it just stops those uh, Pendulum decks. It's crazy good. Um, two Sky Iris. Some people play three, but I do two and a Terraforming. It's a really, really good field spell card, though. It's crazy. Um, basically, uh, your Pendulum, your, your Odd Eyes and Perform Pal and Magician cards can't be targeted by effects. And uh, you can destroy one card, one face-up card you have and add odd, an Odd Eyes card from your deck to your hand. So, yeah, it opens up a lot of possibilities. There's the Terraforming and a Raigeki to finish up the spells. Uh, traps, I play Solemn, a Torrential, and two Breakthrough Skills. Um... Breakthrough Skill is just a good card. Uh, I've seen a lot of people that only play like a Solemn or like a Torrential. Torrential's good. Like, yeah, it kind of hurts having your monsters destroyed, but again, you can just summon them all right back. So uh, I like the trap lineup I have. I might do a version 2.0 if I happen to get avions or change up the traps a little bit but for right now it's a pretty fun deck and um, the main deck's been working out pretty well for me moving on to the extra deck we have odd eyes vortex dragon this card is amazing i love the art i love everything about this card um Ruin Eyes Pendulum. Now, you can't uh, really summon this guy in this build. Um, I don't have Polymerization. Uh, I just have him in here just because uh, he's a filler, basically. I'd love to get Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Um, but this guy's just in here just for fun. I ran out of... I had the one spot open and I just thought I'd put him in here just because it fits with the theme I guess more than anything uh Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon really good synchro card this is in the new structure deck um basically you take your nobleman magician or noble dragon magician uh and your Odd Eyes and lower or decrease odd, odd, odd Eyes level by 3, making it a 4, and then you Synchro. So, um, this guy is really good. Also, a Black Rose, just because the Black Rose Moonlight Dragon is always good to have in your extra deck, and it's easy to make. It's the same process as before. But this is the real MVP, Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon. I play two of him made with any level 7 monster, which is two level 7 monsters, so it's generic. Um, you can negate anybody's attack, any player's monster's attack, um, by detaching an XYZ material monster from it. And then you can summon an Odd Eyes from your 
graveyards. So basically, you make this with one or two odd eyes dragons, detach one, send it to the graveyard, and then summon it and attack with it. So this card's just sick. Uh, other rank sevens that are good. Red eyes flare metal dragon. It's the ghost rare. Wow, looks really cool. A uh, mecha phantom beast Draco sack. I don't have a big eye. Uh, but I'd love to maybe get one for this deck. Gaga ga, ga, Cowboy. Castell. These are all staples. Diamond Dyer. Abyss Dweller. Uh, Karagorgon, whatever. And uh, Illuminescent Knight. Um, and then I play a Heartland Draco. Uh, if I had Big Eye, I'd take this out for it, but I don't know. I just put this card in here. It's actually one of my favorite looking cards. Um, I enjoy it. It's, it's not a bad level four either. Uh, you can attack your opponent directly. It's 2,000, so uh, not a bad card at all. And then, of course, Trapeze Magician made with two level four spellcasters, which you have a good amount to choose from, so... That is the extra deck. Moving on to the side deck. I play my third copy of Effect Veiler and Maxi. I play two Flying Seas. Two Dark Holes because some decks are crazy and you want to just clear everything and, you know, uh, clear everything and just have a fresh field and summon everything back. Three MSTs, of course. Uh, Vanity's Emptiness, two Imperial Iron Wall, and three Royal Decrees. Um, not much else to say. I'd like to get Denko Sekas for the, the side deck. Um, I'd probably take out the two Imperial Iron Walls. Um, but yeah, guys, um, like I said, if I make any changes that are big enough to make a new video of or to mention i definitely will uh make a new video like a 2.0 version of this deck i'd love to hear your thoughts there's a bunch of builds on youtube uh with this deck and with the new cards that are out um if you have any suggestions feel free to leave a comment and let me know uh i hope you enjoyed this video feel free to subscribe and click that like button that would mean a lot to me and until next time guys Peace out. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will speak with you soon. All right, guys. Peace.